So tell me, how, how did this uh, Como's Y'all come about? Uh, it came about, uh, everybody knew that uh, it finally went public, that the restaurant was, was finally closed and was remaining, was going to remain closed. Um, I went in and talked to the, the, the ownership family, uh, who I've known f for a very long time. I grew up in Huntington Woods right next door, going to Como since, I think, before I was born. <laughs> I got engaged there uh, you know, a long time ago. Um, so it was a big part of my life and my friends and, and family, and, uh, and so I, I was able to go have a conversation with the family about what the plans are for the building in the future. Um, there was there was some talk about some apartments being built. Uh, what, the, what kind of what kind of how specific? Um, the the city was talking was talking about allowing either four or seven floors. Wow! Uh, and you know it's a big, important piece of land. Right. In, uh, in, in that city, uh -huh. um, and it deserves something fantastic. Like, right. you know, Como's has been in this iconic restaurant there right. for since the 60s. Um, so they wanted something done with it, and uh, with regard to those apartments, the real problem was there's no parking on site. So when they had some developers approaching them with these pretty astronomical uh, and somewhat irrational numbers, uh, they had to figure out parking for probably 80 apartment units, which is 120 parking spots, right. and there's nowhere to put them. Going underground is outrageously expensive, uh, and it just... What does that cost? It's about, it's about forty five to $50,000 a space, and then wow. above ground can be anywhere between twenty five to you know, high 30s wow. uh, per space, depending on how pretty the deck is. Right. Um, so it was just... The numbers just weren't working properly for that kind of development. Um, at that point, I approached Zach Sklar of Peas and Carrots Hospitality Group, um, and Zach has created a new Detroit-style pizza, which I've only, I haven't tasted yet. I've only seen pictures of it, but it looks fantastic. Um, but he is uh, moving the, the new Como's in for the next generations to, to enjoy, and I, th I think Ferndale community is going to be really excited about yeah. that. So. And, and they were asking originally, I see they were asking for $4 million. They were asking $4 million. Uh, they, they didn't quite they didn't get quite, there. Quite get yeah, there. but they, okay. they, did, they did well. I think everybody at the end, everybody was happy at the closing table. So. Oh, okay. and, and the opening is uh, when? It, that, I'm, that I'm not sure yet. Um, you know, you'd have to talk to Zach about it. But right. I believe there was just kind of some chatter that he was going. The, the building needs was in pretty severe disrepair. Um, it needs to be cleaned and, and gone through and, and fixed up properly uh -huh. to open again. Um, I think they're planning on, because everybody really enjoys that patio. Uh, there's, uh, you know, the Como's patio is legendary in the summertime. Right. Everybody enjoys it from all walks in life. And um, I, I believe there was some chatter about figuring out before anything, um, you know, getting that patio open. So. Were, were, you, were you involved at all in, in the decision to keep the name Como's? Or? No, I wasn't. I mean, Zach and I have become pretty good friends during the yeah. process, so we, we managed to talk about those things, but it, it wasn't my decision, no. Okay. 